Hey, morning guys. Man, it's been a long time since I've picked up a camera. It's been probably like six months or longer since I've done the last vlog, but a lot's changed, a lot has changed. Probably the main thing is that we've moved. Me and Indy moved out into our own house. And little Leo. So now it's just me, Indy, and little Leo. Yeah, but yeah, just thought today I'd pick up a camera. I plan on doing some stuff to the wagon. I guess you could say that we're prepping for summer nights. Need to get the car more low, fix up some of the stuff. But first thing we have to do today, uh, my card reader that I put into my computer so I can take footage off of this and put it on a computer so I can edit it and upload it. Um, that has not only gone missing, but I think I've broken it anyways. Um, so I did go and buy a new one yesterday, but I was an idiot and I bought one that goes into a phone, not into a computer. So, gotta go all the way back out to JB Hi-Fi and get the right one this time. Then go to Bunnings, we're gonna buy a $20 grinder and we're gonna have some fun with the wagon. Don't freak out, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's have fun. Trying to be this professional vlogger and get multiple angles. I'm forgetting my damn car keys. Got him. Now let's go. So at least while I'm trying to start this whole vlogging thing up again, one thing I think that I need to try more is just, uh, even when I leave the house, bring the camera with me more. Um, it's a bit weird, especially with a big camera, as I say in every video, but um, I guess if I want to take vlogging seriously, it's just one thing I've got to do. So one cool thing that I, I think I talked about it a couple months ago, but uh, SEMA is this week in the States, or next week, and uh, KPMF hit me up about the wrap on my car and saw that I filmed and everything, and um, the short video I put on my Facebook about the wagon and everything, they're going to put that in their reel at their booth at SEMA. So my video will be at SEMA. You will actually be able to see something I filmed at SEMA. So I don't know. I'd like to say I'm a big deal and uh, you know, I've been to SEMA. I'm at, I'm at the same level as uh, Adam LZ, Beza Build, TJ Hunt, you know. I've had my car at SEMA technically, so it's a big deal. Yep. Man. I am pretty sure that guy with the trolley car just hit this car. Wow. All right, let's have a look. If you don't turn around and look at your car, is it really a car? Do you love it? Are you really a car guy? Oh, I suppose you can't really tell anything on that car. There's that much fucking scratches on it. But I swear he hit this freaking as well. I don't know. Obviously doesn't care. Is it just me, but whenever you walk away from your car, you, even when you know it's locked, you're paranoid that it's not. You've always got to go back and check. I just wasted like 30 seconds because I had to go back and check to see if my car was locked. I guess I don't know if you'd say that it's because I'm paranoid or because I like my car too much, but every single damn time I've got to go back and check it. Or I gotta stand there and press the button 10 times. Maybe I just have OCD. Or maybe I'm just weird. Looks like this is the only one they've got in stock. They haven't got the Apple one. Oh well. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. You too. Alrighty, now off to Bunnings to try and find the cheapest grinder that I can find. Maybe one of my dumbest ideas, but I'm excited. Boy. Oh, this lens is going crazy. Alright, well, we out here. We at Bunnings. Now, my goal when I was, went to JB Hi-Fi was you just hold the camera by the lens and point it forward. People just think you're holding it, not think you're filming. So I'll try the same thing here. Wish me luck. $23 for an XU1. Thank you. So ended up scoring this bad boy for $20. $20 grinder. Let's see how death defying it is. 
Now I know I'd be able to pick one up cheap, but bloody twenty dollars for a grinder. I'm sure, it's only hundred mil. I did one hundred twenty-five, but twenty bucks for a grinder. All right, let's go home and start cutting shit. You. All right, so I've arrived home with my wicked twenty dollar grinder. I don't know how hopeful I should be with this. Like, will this just blow up the first time I use it? Let's find out together. Now, believe it or not, I used to work at a tool store. And you know the tools that um, the grinders come with for the wheels? You should never use those to do it up. Always do it up by hand, like I just did. Um, that's half the reason the lock's there, so you have something to grip, up, grip up against. The only reason that tool is there is to use leverage to unlock it when it's too tight. Okay, so what we're doing now is, once it gets a little bit brighter, we're gonna be trimming just the inside of the guard a little bit. It's a little bit munted, so we're just gonna cut it off anyways. Now, always use your eye protection when grinding. Um, if, anyone, if, you, if any of you follow TJ Hunt, you would have been watching them with the A90 Mark V Supra. They're doing the wide body kit and they're trimming it up. And uh, Calvin had a disc explode and because of his safety glass, he got a huge cut here and under here, but his eyes are fine. So I like my eyes, so I'm gonna wear eye protection. So here's our cheap little sketchy boy. Um, it may even only last one cut, you never know. This little, little uh, canister motor may not hold for very long. But so what we're doing here, it is munched. Now you can see just here where I've tried to cut it already. I tried to do it with a Dremel. The Dremel didn't have the balls to cut the metal and it's straight away just like, the disc exploded, but it's only a tiny disc. So we're gonna try and pull this out on both sides because it's really annoying and it scrubs every time you turn when you're driving. Um, let's give it a go. All right, wish me luck. I don't know how I'm gonna attack this. I know I should be taking the wheel off to do this, but am I going to? No. We're getting there. It's sketchy as hell and really scary, but we're getting there. I'm trying to wonder if a cutting disc would be better to just cut off the lip, or if I should use a grinding disc and just wear it away. I really want to touch it, but I know it's gonna be really hot. Yep, really, really hot. I really think it'd be much safer to just take the wheel off and do this properly. So I may pick up doing this tomorrow. Let's give it one more shot. So we are making progress, but you can see where I've started cutting here. It's actually began to bubble the wrap where it's heated it up too much. Really not the end of the world, and I know it looks ugly as hell now, but once I've gotten this little lip off, I can then fix the edge a bit more. Plus it's already pretty, it's pretty far gone. Well, then I'm getting new guards down the road anyways. These are just to kind of fix it for now to stop it from scrubbing. When I do end up getting to it as well, so it's really hard to see. That's a bit better, I guess. This body gap here is because inside the bumper, like where the fender and bumper meet, goes in this way, goes in that way a bit. So it mounts through there. So in behind here, it actually scrubs on the tire a lot. So I can't exactly mount it back properly yet. So all I really have to do, trim it back a bit and then see like you can push the bumper to where it's supposed to be like this really easily, but it's kind of just sat like that over time. Um, it is an easy fix. I've just got to get in there and trim it. Um, so I think that's going to be a tomorrow's job where I end up pulling the wheel off. And once I got the wheel off, I can grind it a bit better, but I know it's still ugly, but it looks a lot better than what it did. And once I've got the wheel off, I will trim this inner edge a bit more to make it a bit neater. It's gone to that, which is still a little bit ugly, but a lot less noticeable compared to, it's just, it's just mess up under there. Like look from this angle. Yeah, so. Alrighty, well, um, that's all I'm gonna do for today. Uh, I'm gonna get ready for work now and leave for that. But um, yeah, can you see how it drives now that it's got less of that metal sticking out? But like I said, I'll have to do more tomorrow when I actually pull the wheel off and can get in there. But yeah, for now, that's it. Um, like I was saying before, I do wanna start vlogging more. So um, I am actually going to try and pick this up tomorrow and then try and do some consecutive vlogs for a couple days. I would really like if it was to uh, pick up a little bit and that'd be awesome because I would enjoy doing this a lot more. But yeah, that's probably about it for now. Um, I will hopefully catch you tomorrow and yeah. Peace.